I wanted to welcome you to our pharmacology breakout session. So we have four different speakers today uh, and four very different topics. Uh, so I think that it'll be a very interesting afternoon and it'll help you get that pharmacology credit that you need for your CME. Our first uh, speaker today is Jeffrey Betcher. And so Jeff is one of our uh, pharmacists and uh, manager at Mayo Clinic Hospital in Arizona. He is the manager in the Cancer Center and Pharmacy Department at Mayo Clinic in Phoenix, Arizona. He's an assistant professor of pharmacy in the College of Medicine with Mayo Clinic. He holds a BS from the University of Iowa and his clinical interests include hematology, oncology, uh, bone marrow transplant, CAR-T, and palliative medicine. He has spent most of his career as a clinical pharmacy specialist in Hemonc and BMT. He obtained his board certification in oncology pharmacy in 2012 and has been an active advocate for the Hemonc specialty pharmacy and cancer patients. And in 2014, he won the Mayo Clinic Distinguished Al Allied Health Educator of the Year. So please help me welcome Jeffrey Betcher in talking about novel anticoagulants. Well, thank you very much. I'd like to thank the, the program planners and course directors for inviting pharmacy to be a part of this. Uh, I think it goes a long way in showing the collaborative nature of Mayo Clinic, so thank you very much. Uh, so as usual, pharmacy, though, we're still at, uh, given the, the postprandial time, right, to give our lectures. And we're either at, right after lunch or we're right at the end of the day. So we're usually not very exciting folks compared to nurses and providers, but tend to get into some data a little too much. I'll try to keep it a little on the lighter side. So unfortunately, no relevant financial disclosures to, uh, to let you know about. I will be talking about a little bit of off-label use um, towards the end of the talk. Objectives uh, are here. Um, describe the role of novel anticoagulants or NOACs. Classify drug-drug interactions of the available NOACs. Describe some of the strategies to minimize procedural bleeding risks. And I think this is a real concern with these drugs, making sure we identify that our patients are on these. Um, when we take people to procedures. I think we're very tuned in to Coumadin and know we have to stop that, but knowing what these agents are and making sure they're stopped as well. And then identifying some current options for urgent reversal of the, the NOACs. If we'd have given this talk three years ago, we wouldn't have much to talk about there, but we've had some movement there, and I think you guys had some, some didactic sessions on that already, so hopefully I'll be able to close the loop on some of that for you. So I think it's important we talk about recognizing these agents in our patients. I think part of the problem is what we're calling them. Um, there's so many different acronyms that are out there for the, the, uh, the NOACs. And if you look at how it started, they were novel or new and different from what had been known before. 